and you do not access the wisdom of God, the potential of this God life you have received will never be manifest. And although you may be saved, genuinely so, your Christian experience will be far from the expression of glory. Let me remind you in this final service up front that our corporate destiny in Christ is that we eventually become a manifestation of the glory of God. Burn this in your heart and never forget that in our walk with God and in our dealings in this spirit life, God's goal for us is not just heaven. God's goal for us is not just healing. God's goal is not just prosperity. God's goal is that through our walk with him, we evolve, we become, we are changed until we become living epistles, manifestations of the goodness of God. It then means that my life and your life should eventually become explanations as to all that God is. If it is true that God is a good God, it should be captured in my life and your life. If it is true that God lifts, it should be captured in my life and your life. If it is true that God can turn lives around, it should be captured in my life and your life. Are we together? Your assignment is to believe God enough. Listen, please. To believe his spirit enough and blindly follow him with reckless abandonment knowing that his thought towards you are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and an expected end I trust God with my life yes I do I trust God with my life I would never have been able to bring myself this far by myself by my wisdom mm -mm. Proverbs 3 and verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Verse 6 says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Verse 7 says, be not wise. Listen carefully. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Then he says, fear the Lord, respect him, reverence him and turn away from evil. Hallelujah. Everything that you see that reflects God is a manifestation of his wisdom at work in the life of man. It says, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his marvelous works to the children of men. There is something that God wants to make your life become. There is something that God wants to make your life become. This is more than making you rich. This is more than giving you a car, a house. He wants your life to be a description of the glory of God trapped in the life of a man. That your life becomes an explanation to men that God is alive. This is beyond being a preacher. This is beyond being a businessman. It is our corporate destiny in Christ. Ephesians 2 and verse 10 says we are his workmanship. I like that recreated or created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God had before he preordained it it's not a decision that just happened yesterday he already ordained that we should walk in them whether we walk in the experience of it or not is a different discussion altogether but that according to God's predeterminate counsel in his mind he intended for myself and you, all of us together, that we become living epistles, manifestations of the glory of God. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up you are exalted i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified that one day they will look at you and say saul that we know when did he become a prophet this man this lady 
this person who came from this family what changed and you tell them my life has become a manifestation of the glory of God don't mind where I'm coming from don't mind my yesterday that you know between yesterday and tomorrow something happened and now my life has become a living manifestation of the grace of God if you forget this the devil would deceive you into living a defeated Christian life are we together now when God preordained this destiny for you it didn't matter to him what background it didn't matter the limitations of yesterday he has not changed his plans concerning you he says I know the thoughts that I think towards you say yet the Lord thoughts of peace is someone learning today now and not of evil to give you an expected end you don't trust God to failure you don't trust God unto failure. You don't trust God unto defeat. You do not walk with God unto a life of misery. Mm -mm. Temporarily, you may go through things that are unfavorable. The Bible already gave you an information. It says, for our light afflictions, which is but for a moment. It says, it walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory our light afflictions he says which is but for a moment it has timing the pain has timing god will not allow it go beyond the scope of its timing our light affliction which is but relative to the days you have left celebrating god your moments of pain is called a moment even if it's five years it is still a moment walk it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory verse 18 says he says for we know that no 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 you've, you've given us a different scripture please go back to that scripture for our light afflictions now that's right while we look not at the things which are seen this is your own assignment now if you believe the verse before your response is that you look not at the things which are seen your current condition the pain the limitation the mockery of ignorant men saying what is the benefit of your serving God so far you served him from January up until December now even at this final service nothing around your life looks like the faithfulness of God my Bible says you have an assignment to look not at the things which are seen but the things which are not seen he says for the things which are seen are temporal the dictionary defines the word temporary as that which is subject to change under a certain condition not every condition a certain condition under a certain condition even Aaron's rod that is not planted to the earth can still board and it is God that is exclusively responsible for defining the conditions because he's Lord of all his very throne is an altar an altar that insists that everything he says comes to pass for God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent has he said it he will make it good do you believe that tonight in the name of Jesus I welcome you to our final service for 2023 this glorious glorious year of open doors Hallelujah.